This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, we fall from high heights and stand while we work. That's about right. Dude, you're not going to believe this. Josh is going to try to try fly? It. Yeah. I'm not surprised. You're not even mad? Why? It doesn't matter if I am or not. Well, it makes it less fun. Ryan, I'm glad you're here. I fashioned these crude wings from t-shirts so that I could take part in a miracle of flight. Okay. I'm going to be the first human to soar through the sky like a bird on the lining of a cloud with heaven in my pocket. Part for the course, man. Go for it. Wait, what? You're weirding me out. Don't try to stop me, Ryan. My mind is made up. I believe I can do this. I went through a wall. You didn't believe in me then. Now, I'm gonna soar like an eagle hunting a mouse to feed its hatchlings. I'm your baby bird! F***ing right you are. Stop talking and jump. What? It's like a vision of the pod people. Stop wasting everyone's time and just do it. And I'm over here thinking, am I gonna have to hack this guy's head off? To stop him from killing my family and friends? Come on, on three, break your neck. And one, and two, and three. You know, how supportive you're being kind of makes me not want to do Let's this. Let's go! Soar with the wind beneath your makeshift wings. I'm sure you won't die. I don't know. Then why are you up there? He's gonna rocket to heaven. Maybe this was a bad idea. You think? What? Of course it's a bad idea! There he is. That was close. Wait, so you don't want me to do it? No! You can't fly, man! You're just gonna hurt yourself. Thanks, man. That's all I needed to hear. Wait! He flew for a second. That was falling. I could see his brain. It's so squishy. Awesome. Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And today, as you probably already guessed, we're doing the falling situation goodness stuff. And it's thanks to this email that was emailed to my email. Hey man, what's up bro? How's it going? You know, just making it happen. Living life. I have a question for you. Dear God, get on with it. I want to have my actor fall from a high ledge and hit the ground, all in one shot. Can you show me how to do this? Hey man, great cue. What, what's the cue? It's like, it's like uh, how those smug guys at the offices say, question. Hey Josh, got a cue. You know what I'm saying? They got the, eye, they always do the eyebrow thing. Okay, let's kick this effect in the face. And to be repetitive and obvious, first we shoot our footage. And for this one, I kind of sort of stole from myself. For most of the sketch, when we're cutting to Josh and him talking to us, that interaction, I just used a same technique that I used in this episode here, which is like our fourth episode, I think, that we ever made. So basically, I just had Josh stand on something tall and shot him from a low angle with just the sky in his background. Easy cheesy. Easy cheesy, don't be fresh and squeeze me. Now the falling was accomplished in technically four shots. One of the three of us looking up and then miming Josh falling and then we looked down to pretend he fell. Then without cutting the camera, Josh ran in, laid on the floor and when I wanted him to, he threw himself as high in the air as he could and then acted out the last bit of falling and him hitting the ground. Next, I grabbed my blue and or green screen, whatever you want to use, and I draped it over a stool and then suspended it so Josh could stand on the stool with the blue screen still behind him. Then I had him drop off the stool as if he was falling off the roof. Nyla, get! It's recording again. Nyla! Then I got another shot of Josh jumping in the air and landing flat like so, which I had him repeat about three or four times. Now I take all my footage into my compositing software, which for me is After Effects. I first drop in my background without Josh, then move a few seconds into the clip, and then I will add the clip where Josh lands which I will start once he's already launched himself up and he's already on the way back down. Gum? I dropped my gum. Oh, you my got gum it. fell out of my mouth. It? YOLO, man. Now I add in the shot of Josh on the stool and dropping off, but I will only use it up until the point right before he starts to leave the frame. Then I will key and position it where I need it. And now we have this, but we have this big middle part where he disappears which is not what we want, so we're gonna have to fill it 
with those other shots that we got. So add in the shot of Josh jumping up and landing, which I only use a small portion of this clip, about four frames, from the point where he starts coming back down to right before he hits. Then I will take that portion and mix it with the three other takes that I did, which I took the same exact portion from, combine them together to create this fall, which I will put between the two shots. You're gonna see the innocence, it's gonna ooze out my beard. <laughs> now I will move ahead in the timeline until he appears again and match that up. Now turn on the motion blur for the layer and we have this. Done and done. Again, a very easy way to knock out an effect that looks far more difficult than it is when it's actually pretty easy. You should cheese the zombies wanna eat me. And I know I went through this pretty quick, but for all my Film Riot veterans, you guys should have picked up on that pretty easily. But for some of you that might be more new or new to After Effects or VFX, I will be posting a more in-depth button-by-button tutorial on this on a new channel that we're gonna be starting called Film Riot Extras, which on that channel, we're gonna have additional tutorials, more button-by-button -button stuff. There will be a nice little companion to uh, the regular show here. But if you wanna be notified when that's gonna be going up, just follow me on Twitter right here. But um, let's talk sponsor, shall we? If you're watching this show, odds are you want to be a filmmaker or are in the video and or film production business in some way. And if that's the case, sooner or later, you're going to need to get a website of your own up and going, either to promote your company or your film, or it's a business card, actually, on the internet, which is something that I tell people a lot that I highly recommend them doing. To nowadays, business cards are kind of unimpressive. What I always tell people is to make an attractive card with your web address on it, then let that site be your business card. It makes a lot more sense in the current technological age we're in. Of course, I bring this up because today's episode is sponsored by the best place to go if you want to get a website up and going of your own, and that's domain.com. The best part about this is what you've heard me say a million times, and that's the fact that you can get 15% off your domain name and web hosting when you use the coupon code FILMRIOT when you're checking out at domain.com. So if you're looking to have a better presence on the internet, get started at domain.com, use that coupon code, save that money, and uh, hook us up in the meantime. Logo. Hi there. So if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, for that matter, you know that I have been looking into changing my work life in front of the computer from sitting to standing. I've been hearing a lot of benefits of standing as opposed to sitting while working, so I decided to look into it a bit more for myself, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it on the show today because I want you all to be in good health too. Did you ever think how much fun it is just to be alive? when you feel healthy and well. I first got wind of this idea from Walter Murch, who is one of the greatest editors ever, and he does all his work while standing. Then I really started looking into it seriously once I heard John August talking about the same thing. So I looked it up and found tons of info on how sitting all day can actually take years off your life because of back problems, increasing weight gain, and potentially causing blood clots as well. And I also found, apparently, that you're more in danger of diabetes. Bit of a backache too. I, I didn't want to jump right into buying a stand-up desk either, not knowing if I was gonna like it or not. So instead, I put together a temporary situation for me to try out for about a week. Lift it higher, Bruno. But my arms are tight. Higher! And oddly enough, I found that my productivity went through the roof. My procrastination all but disappeared and I felt less tired and more motivated and far less lazy at the end of the day. So then I decided to go for it and get a stand-up desk. And originally I was actually going to get like a stand-up desk with a stand-up chair as well, since I don't really want to stand all day. I want to be able to fluctuate between sitting and standing. But then after a bit of research, I found these bad boys, adjustable height desks. And the best of the bunch from my research was Updesk at myupdesk.com. So I got my ordering on, waited impatiently, and I threw it together super fast. What's awesome about this is that it's electric. So just by hitting a button, this thing raises and lowers to the height that I want it, which the second I started controlling it, the first thing I thought of were those pimp cars that bounce. So now I could sit, or stand, or whatever I'm feeling at the time. And I decided to show you guys this because if you're like me, you spend a ridiculous amount of time per day sitting in a desk, which as it turns out, not so good for us at all. Oh. And I want you to be healthy. I mean, I think the thing that they said was if you are at it six hours a day, instead of the typical, like some people do three hours a day, it takes like two or three years off your life. 
But I don't know about you, I uh, when I'm editing, then we're talking like 10, 12 hours of sitting, right? Yeah, yeah. what an attitude. Yeah, yeah. So we, the filmmakers double that crap. So, and the second reason was after I tweeted this, a surprising amount of you were very interested to know more. So I figured a quick overview would be uh, pretty cool to break down on the show. But I can see now what's more important in the game. And again, for me, I went with the good people at Updesk. I love smaller companies run by legitimately good people. And this is another one of those for sure. It's a great product and at a much better price than the other. Some of them can get insanely expensive. I found that Updesk was really good and nicely priced. So if you're interested in getting an adjustable standing desk, definitely give them a look here. They have crank and electronic. So if you want to go a little bit cheaper, you can do a uh, crank instead of the electric situation. You can also check out their YouTube page here for more info on the desks and how they work. They're super likable and they just posted a pretty funny video with the excited train kid. Have you ever seen that kid? No. Where he's videotaping the train and he's losing his mind because he's videotaping the train? No. It's, find it, it's hilarious. But regardless of how you do it, if you want to go DIY, uh, which there's tons of stuff online that you could find for that, if you want to go to Ikea and buy something for cheap, or if you want to go up desk like I did, I hope you look into for yourself because there's a lot of health benefits to standing instead of sitting all day long. I have a better, a better perspective. Well, that's it for today. It was actually pretty fun to do something different. I think I might start doing that every now and again, like a filmmaker's life sort of segment, you know? Stuff that can make a filmmaker's life better and or make us healthier. In fact, if you have some tips or ideas that you could shoot over to me, please do so on my Twitter, because I would love to hear them, because I'm just getting into this. I'm sure you guys got a ton of ideas that I haven't even thought of yet. Community, synergy, synergy, Josh. Synergy. synergy. But that's it, I'm Audi. I'll see you crazy kids next week when I drive like a champ and wear a super cool scorpion jacket. That was obvious. No, it wasn't. Did Mike in the shot? Is Someone's coming out. Is the mic in the shot? It wasn't. Is the mic in the shot? It wasn't. Heads off. <laughs> what did you say to heads? I said head off. Stop <laughs> killing my... I said head too. Why? Soar with the wind. Oh, look, a little butterfly. Isn't that nice? I'll be the first human to soar through the sky like a bird on the cloud and the wings of a heaven. Yeah, yeah. Is that good? On. Yeah, dead on. Was that good? Yeah, move on. That was perfect. I thought so. That felt good. It was really good. Really good. You know, you ever, you ever, you're like acting. Oh, cut it up or except, ship out. Except that it sucked. Yeah. So it's good, except, except it sucked. See. But other than that, it was really, really good. Optimism. I'm having fun. The sun, getting a nice little color. Really? No, um, brighter things. All of my time, stay in your lane. This is my game.